Hi Taurus, this is Jackie Tomlin. This is your general reading for the week of October 5th, 2020. Thank you guys for stopping by. As always, if you're enjoying these videos, please take the time to like, share, and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. And if you're seeking a psychic reading, contact me at JackieTomlin.com. Also, your monthly videos are up. If you've not checked those out, check the channel's playlist under the monthlies. Um, and live every Wednesday night, 7 p.m. You're all invited to join Taurus. What you're doing now is going to set you up for later on. Your new beginning is right here now in fall. Your next new beginning is coming up in the spring. Uh, there's going to be some secrets revealed to you guys. Um, I also see y'all taking some time out for yourself. Uh, maybe doing a little manifesting. Maybe doing a little bit, uh, daydreaming. Because I'll be honest with you, the best of the best of you comes out when you're frustrated and you take that time to yourself. New opportunities are about to present themselves, and I also want to state if you are separated from someone or something, it is just temporary. So, Taurus, this is your week of October fifth, two thousand twenty. Taurus. Start with the chariot, followed by the Queen of Cups and Temperance. Beautiful. Chariot kicking your reading off with you get everything you want and desire. This is your yes answer. This is your, you know, go ahead and move forward. The cool thing about the chariot is it all comes in when you least expect it. Next to that, we have the Queen of Cups. Grounded, centered. This could also be a offer of love, particularly to my single Taurus out there. Something new coming into play. And then we have temperance. Okay, that's that cliche of do the same thing and get the same result. Um, you guys, in order to restore your balance, you're doing things differently. But I think you've already realized that. You may have already started doing things differently. Moving forward is the Two of Swords. That's Six of Wands and the Seven of Swords. So the Two of Swords coming in with um, decisions. And these are decisions you've been putting off for too long that you're now going to have to deal with now and make those decisions. Then we have the Six of Wands. Look at there. You climbed the mountain. Victory, success, generally after a hardship. Also showing you be surrounded by people that you're not normally surrounded. And for some of you, it's just an expansion of the social circle. <clears throat> now, you do have a warning coming in with the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords indicates someone has lied to you. This is a deception, Taurus. This is a direct lie. And moving forward, you guys got the Nine of Cups. Wow, the Magician. And the Four of Cups. Alrighty, so the Nine of Cups, total complete happiness, total success, which is fulfilled, all these offers of love and assistance coming in to you. The Magician, guys, you got the Magician and the Chariot in one reading. How beautiful is that? Huh? The Chariot driving the Magician in. And what do we have here? This is the number one card in the tarot deck. This is driving home the point. You get everything you want and desire. And coming in with that Four of Cups energy of showing there is an unexpected offer coming in. And for my singles, it's going to be really strong in the love life. For my couples, I think it's going to be equally as strong. Um, I only picked up a couple signs in your reading. I've got a Leo and an Aries, two fire signs, and uh, the water sign of Cancer. So those signs may or may not resonate with you guys. Now, bonus three cards. We are playing with the Halloween tarot. So Taurus is what you need to know for that week of October 5th. Alrighty, Taurus. You guys got the queen of bats and that is the queen of swords also representing a virgo energy so warning of someone who might get a little catty with you someone who might beat up or kind of lash out at you and then we have the hair font and the hair font indicates 
that what you have been manifesting is now coming around. Okay, what you've been working on manifesting, you're now getting. You see that with that uh, chariot as well as the um, magician. Then we have the high priestess. And the high priestess, balance is restored, but any delay presented to you this week is going to be in your favor. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to check out your dailies, your weekend, and those monthlies. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.